welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and if you already subscribed thank you for always coming back so it's going to be my favorite lipsticks video again yes i'm not wearing any lipstick right now because i can't be bothered to put on lipstick just for the intro and then you know take it off and do those swatches again i have become that person so today is going to be my favorite pink nude lipsticks video i don't own a lot of pink lipsticks uh Honestly, I'm not much of a pink nude person. I gravitate more towards brown nudes, as you can figure it out from most of my videos and pictures. But these are the few that I actually love, and I repurchase quite often because I don't want to experiment with my pink side. That's it, and I'm just gonna show you guys my favorite lipsticks in no order of preference. So let's get started. First up is Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Graduation Day. This is a warm toned vintage rosy shade. Typical for the lipsticks from this range, it is super creamy to apply, glides on and is super comfortable on the lips. It stays creamy throughout so no dry lips and reapplication is super easy. The camera really doesn't do justice to the shade so if you're looking for a perfect nude with a touch of pink then this color is for you. Before moving on, I thought you guys should see this little blooper. Anyway, and next is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Anna. As you can see, it is a dusty mauve shade. It is beautiful on brown skin tones and like some of the more typical pinks that can wash you out. The color is so rich and pigmented, so it's super full coverage, stays on forever and because of how creamy it stays, reapplication is super easy. Next, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Sand Storm. Now listen, there is a little bit of a confusion regarding the shade in my head. I know a lot of people categorize this as a brown. But for me, I don't know, I just feel like this is more of a pink for me. Maybe it's just in my head. So I was contemplating whether I should include this shade in my video or not. And then I thought, why not? Because I call it a pink and this is my favorite pink lipsticks. So this is a really nice shade. Whether you call it a pink or brown, it's up to you, but yeah, I love it. Now we have a MAC from Twig. No, we have Twig from MAC. It is from their satin lipsticks range. This is a muted brownish pink. Like most of MAC's satin lipsticks, this is a creamy formula, medium coverage, but is very much buildable. You can keep adding layers and layers and it still won't look cakey at all. Very long lasting, if you don't wear much pinks but want to start somewhere, then I would highly suggest this one. Next is Lakme 9 to 5 lipstick in the shade Nude Touch. I love this range. One of my favorites in my top brown lipsticks was also from this range. The shade is just perfect for me. So if you are around the same skin tone as me, then please do try it out. The shade is kind of like my lips but better kind of vibes for me. Very creamy and easy to apply. Not the most pigmented. As you can see, I have to go over the pigmented parts of my lips a couple more times to get it all covered up but no complaints it has an average staying capacity it remains satiny on the lips throughout reapplication is hassle free i don't even need a mirror because of how close it is to my actual lips so if i had to choose one lipstick from this entire video this would be it next is the sephora cream lip stain in the shade marvelous mauve if i had to explain the shade in the shortest way possible then it would be as the previous shade but as a liquid lipstick it is exactly the same color with the added benefits of a liquid lip Super pigmented and rich, it does stay on forever, dries down matte but has a tacky feel to touch, so you have to be a little extra careful while reapplying. I sometimes layer this on top of the previous Lakme shade and that is a lovely pinky combination. Next is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Budapest. Again, this is up for debate but I love this range as you know I've included it in my favorite red lipsticks and brown lipsticks the properties are the same it's super creamy super easy to apply but I just like to apply it in a very minimal way and then kiss the back of my hand and I feel like it gives me the most beautiful pinkish look I don't know if it classifies as a pink nude but I love it so just giving you that information Lastly, we have the iconic Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. This is a muted dark rosy plum shade with warm undertones in it. I believe the packaging has changed now. This is a little old, older than I'd like to admit. 
highly pigmented one stroke application applies smooth and evenly I know nobody wants to see me rub off lipstick from my teeth but anyway it will last you for a long time but can feel drying after a couple of hours so that is it so those were my favorite pink lipsticks while I was doing the swatches I do realize that some of these might not be your typical pink but I categorize it as pink so I don't know if you guys are going to accept my pinks but yeah this is what I call pinks okay and I wear as my pinks and yeah I hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you in my next video bye guys